a PhD doesn't go away. Uh, you've got it for three years, and and it's a very intense way to find your feet and get into involved in a project. So, in general, uh, in terms of research, they are they are, and this is this is meant to sound detr detrimental because I was one. We're a cheap form of, form of labour for a project, and it also means that they're getting they're getting monitoring information. In Belford, I was. Uh, I was, as I say, brought on to quantify the impact of, of runoff attenuation features. But what does that mean in reality? It means going up to Belford in Northumberland in winter, in summer, whenever it's raining, to measure rainfall, to capture photography, anything that can show the ponds in their designed use and function. You always want to do more. You always want to try and engage more. And the ideal thing with a flood action group having a PhD student on board is that you've got you've got a link into the research that's going on and if, uh, if like me you were funded by the Environment Agency you've got you've almost got a link into the Environment Agency the Environment Agency was obviously leading the project they were funding it so that allowed me access to the kind of the other information that was going on the other the other considerations that were going on uh, as part of this project and allowed me to be involved in that research and and so if, if a flood action group were keen on having all that information in place um, a PhD student probably would be the way to go.